Hey guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, it is Monday afternoon. Sorry I'm starting so late but basically just had a hectic morning. I was literally nearly in tears so I didn't want to film. Basically, wow, white tea. Um, basically I just filmed a few hauls like my weekly haul and a Zara sale haul and an Ace for sale haul which is why my room is a state and also I'm like literally look at that shoe look at where the other, where it should be compared to that one so i'm gonna have to sort this out like right now before that like pulls a chunk of the wall off and ruins my office i need another way of storing shoes but i've got no space i don't really know what to do about this situation um also i'm really liking my makeup today even though i think that it's literally just sweat but i quite like the glisten of it sweat works for me <laughs> um but so anyway the reason why i was nearly crying today is because <laughs> Poor Penelope. She had she had her operation today. So we if you all remember, if you're watching my vlogs before, you'll remember that she um was had a phantom pregnancy, which apparently didn't even go away. So like oh so weird when you can see me in the mirror. Um so basically I'm gonna put you here actually. Oh I keep getting really dry a really dry bit in my throat and then like going um oh by the way who's got so into the world cup i'm so into it that i'm like deciding which english football team i should support because i want to support football and i want to go and watch matches it's like i love football <laughs> football chrissy <laughs> football match <laughs> sorry i'm really jet lagged and like yeah i'm having a weird day um what was i saying oh yeah so if you think that there's a football match uh support like team i should support comment who and why below i'm thinking tottenham hotspurs because apparently um harry kane plays for them and he's good at shooting goals and also because i like zara on tottenham court road jack was like that is not a reason to support them i was like well it's good enough for me i like zara and it's on that road um and also what was I saying? Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Oh yeah, so Penelope, poor Penelope. She basically, if you remember when you were watching, she had a uh, false pregnancy. And when I actually went to get her checked up just before her operation today, they said that she's still producing fluid from her, um, or discharge as they call it, I hate that word, from her nipolas. So yeah, she's still not completely over it so we're hoping that like that maybe that's why she keeps barking at everyone like being like if people in the street want to say hi to her she literally like growls and barks at her, at her like she does not like saying hi to people she doesn't know um like she would never hurt anyone but she's just really not friendly um and yeah so we're hoping that will like help with that as well but the main reason we got her done is because she if we didn't then she'd have a false pregnancy every time that she had uh, period or like a heat or whatever a season so we just decided that that's not really nice like to think you're pregnant every few months so we decided to get her done because we don't want to breed her um anyway so yeah it's really horrible to have to put her through an operation that i know isn't necessary and like i nearly cancelled this morning and i was literally on the verge of tears but i was just like there's nothing like there's nothing I can do. She needs to have it done and she'll be better in the end. And she, they said she was absolutely fine. Let me show you her. She's got like a little polo neck on. This room's an absolute chip. She's got a little polo neck on. She's fine. She's just really sleepy from the anaesthetic. Look how adorable she is. Not me, I look creepy. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday morning and I'm so livid. Oh, um, basically, well, I need to put you down somewhere so I don't like, I'm like pacing, I'm pacing because I'm so annoyed. Um, basically, so first of all, Penny did a wee yesterday, like two, and then she's only just done another wee today this morning, like 2 p.m. Um, and she's just eaten for the first time. She's still not had any water, but she's had her painkillers. Last night I couldn't sleep. I was crying because she was crying. She was just laid there going, oh, and I was just like, she's breaking my heart. She was just crying, and so I cried. And neither of us slept. And then this morning, like, basically, we've all sent me clothes to shoot and like just clothes that I really want, um, like monthly and gifting and stuff. And also 
special occasions. Like I asked for some stuff for Thailand, they were gonna like kick me out for my trip. The stuff never came in time, which meant that it came whilst I was away, and then so it got delivered to my local Halfords as like a pickup store, and it said like, you've got until the 4th of July to collect it. So I was like, okay, perfect. Then, I went to go and collect it. Oh my gosh, it's not there, what the hell? They were like, oh, Revolve has asked for it back. I emailed Revolve, they haven't asked for it back. So I rang up the my like local DPD because the number that's like customer service is absolutely useless. Like if you ring it, it just goes, this is your parcel number and it's gonna be, de it's been delivered to Halfords. Well, it hasn't, because they literally left it at Halfords for one day, like I'm not being dramatic, overnight. And then the next day they picked it up. So from the 26th to the 27th, it was at Halfords. And then it, I got told it would be there until the 4th. And then, so I couldn't get through on a normal number. So I found a number for the Peterborough Sorting Office, which is like the closest one to me. And I rang them and I was like telling them about it. Like I wasn't being rude, I was just like frustrated. But I wasn't being rude, I was just talking like I'm talking now. And the guy hung up on me. Like I'm trying my hardest not to swear here. He hung up on me and then I rang back like three or four times and every time it would like answer and then hang up. Like answer, hang up, answer, hang up. So like weren't even letting it go into voicemail so I could bloody complain about them. And then I left it like 15 minutes and rang again and someone else answered and I was like, why are you hanging up on me? And he was like, we're not, you just kept pressing loads of buttons when you we answered. I was like, you didn't even answer for long enough to hear and no I wasn't. Um, so then, anyway, I was like, I don't care about that anyway, I just need your help and told him the situation and he was like, yeah, Halfords have sent it back basically without their request, like they've messed up completely and sent it back. And I was like, well, can you like give me the number of the, the hub, they called it, which is where things go before they go back aboard. He was like, yeah, it's probably not gonna be there. And I was like, yeah, but can you give me the number? And he was like, it's probably not gonna be there. And I was like, okay, thanks for being helpful. And then I hung it up, well, like said bye and hung up. And then like five minutes later, I was like, well, Revolve think I've got these clothes there. Like, have you shot these things yet? Like, where are they? So there's like $800 worth of clothes that I need to shoot. They're, I don't wanna like, they're like one of my top companies to work for. And like, I don't wanna lose contact with them just because DPD are useless. So I ran them back again and was like, please can you give me um, a tracking number? Because my tracking number says that it's still in Peterborough, like, or that it's been delivered to Halford. Like, I need a tracking number that is, like, saying exactly where the parcel is, so that I can show it to the brand, because they're, like, I'm going to lose work. And they were like, oh, um, yeah, sure, here's the number. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Typed in the number after I got off the phone, and it was just a random one for someone called Colin saying that it's been delivered and signed for. I was like, are you joking? So they just like bobbed me off with a random number. I'm so fuming right now. I'm like waiting until 8 a.m. So like this has all happened for 8 a.m. I should have stayed asleep. So now I'm waiting until 8 a.m. so I can like talk, call another number that's on the app. And if I can't get through there, then I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna cry myself back to sleep and then just pretend this day never happened. Hello, it's a bit later on Tuesday. Um, Penny is having like major improvements. First of all, she did a wee this morning, which was really good. Because that's the first wee she did since 2 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, see, she's licking my nose before she was so annoyed at me. And she's like wagging her tail. She tried to climb up the steps, I had to stop her. And she had a tablet, so I think maybe she's like feeling a bit better because maybe she's like, the painkillers are working. I've got a really cute outfit on actually, let me show you. Mum's gonna come around and help me shoot. I was worried about leaving Penny, but she's gonna be fine, I think, because she's just saying that as long as I shut her in this room so she can't, um, like, jump up anywhere. And I'm not being cool, by the way. Like, I have to do work. This is my job. And um, so I'm being really nice by staying at home with her all the time rather than, like, leaving her and going to London and, like, cancelled all meetings for two weeks. But I do need to shoot and do work because that's my job. Um, but I'm just gonna shut her in the kitchen every time I go out to shoot, which I shoot on my own for, like, five minutes. And in the kitchen, she can't jump up anywhere. She can't hurt herself. So I'm just gonna show her the kitchen. And I think she's fine, she's just sat on there anyway. I wanna show you this cute outfit. This is some Verge Girl. Like, obviously I do my weekly haul, so you'll have seen it in there. But I just really like these shorts. I don't know what it is, I'm just kind of obsessed with them. But I do think they're quite short for my age. And then there's this jumper that's like one shoulder and it's got like this, you can tie it at the front or the back, but I quite like it at the front. And then I just tucked it so you can see more of the shorts. And then, I'm gonna add on my little Chloe backpacks. I feel like it adds, just finishes it off. I really like this one-shoulderedness. Didn't think I would, but I'm loving it. 
I'm loving it. Trying to get my mood back positive too, guys, because honestly, I've had the most annoying morning ever, literally. So, the GPD thing, rang them up and complained, and I literally, like, I'm not normally someone to complain about people, because I think being annoyed at people is like drinking poison yourself. The only person you're hurting is yourself. But honestly, the way these people spoke to me and treated me, and the issues they've caused me, I just think they need to be complained about. And I don't normally complain about people, because I do think, just let it go. But Halford sent my parcel back. Like, that is not okay. Like... They shouldn't really have that contract or whatever it is with um, GPD if they can't be trusted to look after people's parcels. Like, who sends parcels back? Um, and those people in um, Peterborough are hanging up on me. Like, I'm sorry, that's so rude. And they're representing those that company. So I can't believe that they hung up on me. Like, I complained and I actually said, like, I want you to email me to make sure that you can, like, form, like, send the complaint. And I want you to, like, keep me updated. But honestly, like... <laughs> I don't know if the complaint was like really there. I think I'm gonna um, file it myself later because it was just like an email with it all written out, but there was nothing that was like a link or anything to like, he could have just written it just to like shut me up if you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm trying to let it go now, but it's hard. Oh, I've got some new like artwork in our house. Our house is a bit of a state at the moment. I say that in literally every vlog. Ta da I'm doing a collaboration with Tessenio, not on this, but on my blog, but I'm just showing you because I really like them. So I've got a few new ones. So Kmos is gone. Just got some summery prints to like brighten up. So this one is obviously like LA and then this is like a really cute beach. I think you can have it that way or that way. But I quite like it. Oh maybe I do like it that way actually. What do you guys think? That way or the other way? I don't know, maybe that way. Um, anyway, it's just like parasols on the beach. This is actually from Decenio too. This little... Um, photo frame holder the only thing is i wish it was a bit deeper because like so we could like i don't know so that could go in front of that one but because that one is so tall if it goes behind that one then it just like flops but i do think the smaller one would look better in front and then i also got these two new ones I hate these cables so annoying so i got this one here which is like the reflection in a pool of some palm trees and then this quote which jack hates so i kind of covered it up with the mirror and then let me show you the other two I got whilst I'm waiting for mum to come here. I don't know where she is. Oh my god, Penny tried to climb the stairs earlier and I was like, don't do that. She was trying to take her phone upstairs, so at least I know she's feeling better. And then look, I've got these two. That's like some pink kind of, looks like a motel side, but like really zoomed it in. All the reflection's like ruining it. And then that one, oh, is like you're looking down a water slide and then it's the beach. I really like them both and I think, let me show you it from afar. The bed's not like properly made, but I think it looks really nice with like the pink pillows. Cause this is what we had before. And I think they're a bit boring to be honest. So I'm over it. These are way nicer. And again, like just like made the whole, all of the rooms a bit lighter and brighter in summary. Hey guys, just sort of check in again to give you a wee update. I'm a Penelope. Um, she looks really pissed off. <laughs> She's just having a little nap in her little <laughs> Oh, you annoyed with me. Oh, you okay? Oh, baby girl. Oh my god, look at her eyes looking at me. Those are evil eyes, if you ever saw one. <laughs> She's like, get out, piss off. Shut up and piss off. Can I say that? Is that a swear word? Oh my god, why am I blurry? Why am I blurry? Okay, so basically, Mum and Lauren have just left. We shot some pictures together, they look so nice. I'll put some in if I remember, but they look so nice. Like, honestly, I'm so happy with them. And let me show you them on my phone, actually. They just look really like, um, just summery and gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just really enjoyed taking them and they look really nice. Like that one is the dress that I wore now. Da -da -da. This is literally on my road too, it's so handy. I took some really nice ones as well. This is the Verge Girl. I love that outfit that I was wearing in the last clip. How nice. 
So yeah, I'm really happy with those. So I'm just gonna edit all those now. And then I've got like a million blog posts of the stuff in Pandora to write. I've filmed three videos yesterday that I need to edit. So I'm just, oh my God, why am I out of focus? I'm just making myself some sweet potato fries. I've done all the washing. Literally every washing we ever had in the house. I've got this big bag of stuff that I need to sort out that was like in my suitcase slash leftover beauty stuff that I need to. So I'm gonna sort that out and put it where I need to go. It's just downstairs stuff that's been does anyone else have a bag of stuff upstairs? A bag upstairs that they just fill with stuff and they're like, that stuff needs to go downstairs. Like, this is stuff that I took out of my car when I washed it. I need to go in the car. Um, and then you never get around to it, so yeah. Oh my god, did I show you this thing that I got the other day? I've just seen it. Anya Hi Marge, they sent me a candle, which I was like, hashtag blessed. Oh, why is it so dark? It's really cute. I wish you could smell it because it actually smells like cherries, but not like. I don't know what an actual cherry smells like. Oh, FedEx man. This is how interfering my family are. It's not the FedEx man. It's a window cleaner. Then my mum booked to come round. She was like, your windows are really dirty. So she's booked a window cleaner to come round. Like, I was like, oh, how much is it gonna cost? Like, she'll like do it, but like, how much do I owe you? And he was like, she said she'll pay for it. So like, I just came around to clean them. I'm like, I mean, thanks mum, but also like, stop interfering. I know you're watching this. You're a little interferer. Um, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying before. Um, just so I've got lots of work to do and I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna chill pretty much the rest of this week. I'm just gonna like sit on the sofa with Penny and comfort her and chill. Hey guys, I haven't checked in for today yet. Oh, Penny's going crazy. Can you see what she's doing? What are you doing? Are you going crazy? Um, basically she's had the biggest, like, where is she gone? The biggest, um, drama with her she basically <laughs> wear herself like how is it possible for a dog to wet themselves you ask she i had the garden door open the um, back door open because she was um with daisy and they were in that and my mum and dad were here and then she literally just ran outside and went for a wee in her little vest thing so i was like okay do you think a dog could wet themselves <laughs> so i had to like wash her and then saw she had like a lump on her wound and my mum's cat got a w w lump on her wound and she had to have everything like re-stitched so i was like don't mind having so I just ran to the vets with her and she was fine thank god it's literally just they said it will be lumpy because she's got um god she doesn't know what to do she's got um sorry she's like running around going crazy she's got in sutures inside which have like pulled the muscle tight so it will be like lumpy um, which is a horrible thought but anyway so uh, yeah basically i can't remember what i was gonna say but she's gonna be fine um i'm obsessed with the football guys like honestly i feel like this vlog is just gonna be me talking so like if you hate these kinds of things like just wait till next week's vlog because i won't be talking then i got not know to put you guys it's like a good spot I've got nothing to lean you on, I'm just going to put it here. So, basically, I'm obsessed with the football. Like, I've literally, every night, 7pm, I get my shanty out, I settle down, and I watch the football. And we haven't got it for two days now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm, like, on my own at home. I'm having a week at home where it's, like, today I'm having no makeup day. But can I just tell you something? Like, I hate doing negative reviews, so I would never, like, go out of my way to, like, say something was really bad. But I have to tell you about one product. Oh, God. I have to tell you about one product you should definitely not buy. So I've just washed my hair, but you might see that it looks greasy. I just had to put some dry shampoo in it. It's gone all like strandy and looks greasy because I put some hair oil in. And I've tried this hair oil like three or four times. Sorry, just not from cover. I've tried this hair oil like three or four times. And honestly, now I'm just like, it's not me. Because you know when you're like, maybe I did something wrong, maybe I put too much in. This hair oil makes my hair look greasy. Like, I put it in when my hair was wet after I washed it. I didn't, I put like two, three, four pumps in. Like, not loads. The same, I put loads. This is the one that I normally use. But it's really expensive. So I try to like use it really minimally. Um, the kazoo. It's like £50 a bottle, I think. But it's amazing. It smells insane. So that's like really good and then this one I um so I put like the same amount in and it makes my hair look greasy um and it's this one but I've heard really good things about the brand so I feel bad and like I'm not bad mouthing them it's just my honest experience and I really want to like it it's a really pretty product and maybe it's just my hair type but I've got quite dry hair so I really don't think it is my hair type 
Um, it's a body oil as well though, so maybe I should try it as a body oil before I like bin it. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know because I feel like you've got to be honest about these things. So if my hair looks greasy, I've just washed it and that is bloody well why. Um, but I do want to try more stuff they do because I have heard really good things about them, but yeah. Sorry, but does anyone else get drawn in by this bit on YouTube? But like, I always watch his videos, which is why they probably always get recommended. But like, I want to see tenants and some dogs only rich people can afford because that one's huge. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Thursday. I'm just got dressed because me and Mum and Lauren are going to go for a coffee, and I'm debating whether to leave Penelope here and like lock her in the kitchen so she can't jump up anywhere, or just carry her down with me. Like, she won't need a lead or anything. Obviously she can't like do anything, but I might just carry her and then we can go somewhere that dogs can go and she can just like sit down. Um, but yeah, it's like having a baby. Um, but yeah, I need to shoot something, which is why, I'm just going behind you where my rings are. I need to shoot something with Pandora, uh, my, about a ring stack. So I'm just getting all my rings. I've got so many of them. It's actually ridiculous, like, look at how many rings I've got. Is that a good ring stack? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I've already got these ones on. These are my favourites. Let me show you. So basically, I'm a pa ambassador, like, I think I've said this before. Obviously, I've said this because I went to Thailand. Um, sorry, I need to stop looking in that screen there and look at you. Um, but basically, so I have these already, um, a little crown and a little honeycomb ring, which I love as a stack. And then I've just added that one there, um, and then here, oh, <laughs> there we go, um, I've just got this one which is like a little heart going round, and then that one is like rose gold with little, they're not diamantes, they're cubic zirconia, because um, they don't use diamonds in anything, because you can't be sure that they're not blood diamonds, and then they've got like this one here, oh sugar, I was going to paint my nails, I'm going to have to like photoshop my nails to look decent, things, I haven't had a chance to go and get them done, because I've, oh Penelope, she is such a little munchkin, I literally shut the bedroom door, and she, it must have like not clicked in, and she's like nudged it open and jumped on the bed, and she's not meant to be jumping, so this is another favourite ring of mine, it's from the Shine collection, it's a bit too small, um, but I love pinning it on that finger, I just I just like it and then I feel like I need a couple more on this finger I've got this one on this finger thumb um I feel like that hand's maybe done I just want a few more on this one so I've made that finger quite similar to that finger actually is it exactly the same no it's slightly different so that one's got like the little hearts going around and then the rose gold with diamantes and then that's a rose gold one here can you see good sound focus and then this one I've gone for Two the same in silver and gold. They're like, I think it's called Hearts of Pandora. I'm not 100% sure. I'll link all of the rings below if you don't fancy making your own little ring stack. And then this one here is the same but silver. Can you see that one's silver and that one's gold? Um, so I'm all stacked up. Um, but yeah, I really love all of their jewellery. I feel like I've got a whole new appreciation too since going to Thailand and like seeing how it's all made. I really want to wear some silver necklaces with my gold necklaces today. But I'm just like struggling to get them all. To get them all off. Because my belts are caught up in them. This is my favourite silver one. Look, it's got a little... I think this is like... I've got this on a bracelet too. So I feel like this is a little... Um, oh my god, look at my wrist. This is like a little charm. So you can have it. It's like a necklace or a charm. I don't know if you guys are finding this really boring, but I feel like my week's really boring, so I'm just talking you through my jewellery. Then I'm going to put on some knit bracelets. This is my all-time favourite bracelet. Let me put it on and show you. It's like a bangle, but it's open. And then it's got, like, the Pandora... Um, you can get a ring like this, too. I think I want the ring now. Um, I just really like that one. And then I have a gold charm bracelet that's, like, drawstring, which is the easiest one to put on, because you literally just slip it on. Though Jess at the on the Thailand trip was like just slipping all of them on. I was like, you do realise that you're not meant to do that. Um, so those, and then I'm going to add this one to, but maybe to the other arm. Then this is my like summer one. I love this one so much. It's like a, it's from the summer collection. It's like a teal leather one. So that's my arms all stacked up too. And then I'm just going to grab some earrings. These are my all-time faves. So I do have a few other Pandora ones. So maybe I should change, actually. Okay, I'm going to go for different ones. 
So I normally, I'm going to get these ones, they match my ring. I love mixing all the metals too, I feel like I've, not, I've got silver gold and rose gold on and it's amazing because then you can just not have to worry about it. I know some people are literally, will, probably their skin will be crawling watching this and being like, you've got all of those different metals on, like what are you doing, you're going to have bad luck for 10 days. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, I just realised I need to go to the post office too. Such an exciting life I lead. Hey guys, so <laughs> I was meant to show you my um, award, my um, oh my beauty like organising thing, but in the end, instead of staying at home and doing that, I came around to my mum's house <coughs> and went to her, her friend's barbecue. Like a loner, because Jack went away for the weekend and everyone was busy, so I was just like totally alone Penelope is going crazy because Daisy's here I so yeah so that was pretty boring so I didn't film it and not the barbecue sorry like I didn't do anything so I uh, yeah basically I'm just ending the vlog so I don't know why I'm running but thank you so much for watching next week's will be really fun I promise because I'm doing something <laughs> so this week was obviously like at home I'll pro probably show you organizing my drawers which is super exciting um next week and then also i just ordered something really exciting from this project hopefully that will come in the sale and then also um i'm going to henley to watch uh i keep saying ellie golding but it's rita aura with lauren um when you know when you saw my bista village hall so um that was for this so i'm gonna wear my lovely gbf dress i'm gonna go dance um and also oh my god we're in the World Cup um, semi-finals, I'm so excited. And that is on the same day, which I'm also gutted about because I don't know how I'm gonna watch it, but I need to watch it. So I'm gonna have to like live stream it to my phone or something whilst I'm at this like a festival thing. Um, and then on Friday, I'm going to London with Lauren as well. So I've got um, meetings and stuff. Basically, I wasn't gonna go because I'm go, I didn't wanna leave Penny that long, but obviously I had this Henley thing. So then I didn't wanna go again. Oh, it's that on the TV. Um, and then I basically was um, invited to meet the CEO of Rails, um, which is like a brand that I love. So I was like, well, <laughs> can't really pass on that. Um, so I've just arranged a few more meetings whilst I'm there. And also Realisation Par, I've got a pop-up at Selfridges, which I really want to make it to, to go and get some things maybe. And there's a Chanel bag that I've been eyeing up and it's probably not available anymore because it was like limited edition and it came out like a few weeks ago. But I might pop into every Chanel store in London whilst I'm there. And if they have it, then I might just treat myself because I've had a really good year. And I know I've treated myself a lot for having a really good year. But I think you've got to treat yourself. If you work hard, you've got to treat yourself. I mean... I just work hard and save all the time like I've saved a lot of money for my house deposit like nearly double what I thought I needed so I'm just like come on you just have a treat girl anyway thank you so much for watching um I hope you like this video and if you did give it a thumbs up if you watch to the end leave me a comment about my palm print swimsuit um and I will see you next week might be a Chanel bag buying trip <laughs>